What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Cute B, Golden Blossom, Ray Liotta Private Select. Bees don't know about this. This is stealing, a lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, our schools, our hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to get to the bottom of all of this. Hi, I'm Peter Travers, the movie critic for Rolling Stone, and we're talking about movies today and what's going to open this weekend, and there's two gigantic hits. And the first big one is the B movie. This is Jerry Seinfeld, and I know you've all been waiting since his show went off the air in 1999 to see Jerry on the big screen, and guess what? You won't, because the B movie is animated. It's an animated film where Jerry does the voice of the main B called Barry B. Benson. Stop me if I make too many B jokes because people need to be stopped. There's too many B jokes. But the B movie is animated, it's fun, it's Jerry as co-producer, co-writer, and the voice of Barry B. Benson, the B that wants to get out of the hive. There's a lot of Seinfeldian humor in this for those of you who love the show. And if you didn't love his show for nine years, there's something wrong with it. This was to me, the peak of TV sitcom stuff. But his B graduates with his pal B, played by Matthew Broderick, and they graduate and think they should work for Honex, which is making honey, that's all they need to do. And Jerry's B decides he wants to get out of that hive, and he goes out into the world. And that's a great scene where he's out into the world, he goes into New York, he, he sees a world outside the hive. And he finds a florist who's voiced by Renee Zellweger and feels empathetic to her. Now, this is a family movie. It's fun for kids and everything, but I saw something going on with Jerry's bee and Renee's human. There's a scene where the bee's little antenna hits Renee's hand, and I thought it was probably more sexual than most things we see in movies today, but that's just me. I'm turning the bee movie into something perverse, which it isn't. It's just a fun, good time at the movies. I'll Listen, from now out. on, don't nobody talk to me directly. You understand? You got The big movie, the one that we're going to hear a lot come Oscar time, is American Gangster. Now, you've probably heard a lot about this. This is Ridley Scott, who directed Gladiator, among other things, at Black Hawk Down, telling a true-life crime story. Uh, and Denzel Washington, I think, gives a, a monumental performance in this, playing a guy named Frank Lucas who in the 70s in New York decided to come into Harlem, they called him the Harlem Godfather, smuggle in heroin, and cut out the middleman. There's no mob, he wouldn't talk to them. Jay-Z, I think you know, has already created a CD based entirely on his love for this movie. There's actually nothing in American Gangster where we hear Jay-Z doing anything. Now, is Denzel Washington's character somewhat admirable? <laughs> no, not at all, but was Scarface? No. Everything in this movie ticks along for 157 minutes, and if you're counting, that's like almost three hours. It moves, it has the energy that you look for in this kind of a movie, and I think it will be a gigantic hit. I say, get thee to American Gangster. I'm Peter Travers.